So we've all been there at the beginning of a ladder and you have absolutely no good gear. Maybe you're trying to do Mephisto runs, you're trying to do Andaral runs, but they're incredibly difficult, your resistances are terrible, you need more strength, you can't find the good gear. Well, actually it turns out there's actually a very easy way to get better gear to make doing them runs and playing the game even easier. If you didn't know this, you can actually go over to the vendors and actually buy very, very, very useful items here in Diablo 2. So with Diablo 2 Resurrected coming out here in just a couple weeks, I decided to go and make a list here of the absolute best items that you can just walk over and buy straight from a vendor that's going to make your playthrough way faster and make your magic finding even better. So just real quick before we get into the video here, just hit that like button for me. Come on, we're on YouTube. We need that like button destroyed. And if you like Diablo 2 content, make sure you subscribe up. You never miss any of the videos and also so you don't miss me streaming i stream right here on this youtube channel now let's get after it the very first thing that i'm going to talk about shopping from vendors and it's the first thing you're going to encounter and that is buying runeward bases from charcy here this is act one you can make things in a two socketed armor such as this a stealth you make this for every single character early on and also you can get things like socketed helms here for example a two socketed helm you could make in maybe a lore if you find the runes to do that maybe later in normal and don't forget from these vendors too if you can't find any good item along the way that you can stick in any slots like boots or gloves you can find things from any vendor here i go over to geeds and you can see i find some boots some faster increased attack speed gloves Different things like that that you can fill in and make up for items that you haven't found along the way. And from these vendors that sell armors, you can see I have a, an armor here that has a huge amount of life. That might be something early on you put on a mercenary and later in the game, maybe when you get into hell and stuff, you can actually find stuff that even has open sockets on it and that massive amount of life. Imagine sticking a bunch of rubies in that and already having that life on the base. You're having a ton of life. You can even shop magic stuff here from will say Anya and there's actually a quick way that you can shop her faster too you can get stuff like this 30% faster walk run boots you can get some of them shields with all res and stuff like that but you just hop through the portal to go to Neolithic and come right back as long as there's nobody in town it will reset the inventory for that vendor and this works for all vendors if you leave town and come back with nobody else in the game in town then it'll reset the vendors inventory now we'll head over to the next thing I want to point out, and that is a lower res wand. You can get them here from a car. There's a few other vendors that can sell them as well. I'm sorry this is actually purple because of the loot filter I play with on my game currently, but yours will not be. Make sure you look for lower resistance charges, not the lower resistance skill. And here's an example of how you would use this. I have a Blizzard Sorceress here. I'm going to cast lower res on Mephisto, and that will increase the amount of damage that Mephisto takes from elemental damage and it still takes a while because I have a low level character and you speed it up but that is how you will do more damage and actually kill stuff faster. And here's an example of how to shop even faster from a car. You can put a cow portal right next door, hop in and hop out and it'll reset the inventory. Now here is a life tap wand. A life tap wand is used specifically for melee characters. I know most people are usually casters but if you're a melee character and you have life tap, it's like having life leech, but on steroids. If you have life tap on the boss that you're attacking, you essentially cannot die. It is wild. As you can see, my life globe goes down a little bit. But as soon as I hit Mephisto once or twice, it shoots back up to full. Comes down a little bit, shoots back up to full. Like I said, you cannot die. Now you want to keep an eye on the little sparkly red spots above Mephisto's head here. When they disappear, you want to cast life tap again because that means the spell ran out it doesn't last particularly long with these charges because it's very low level you cast it again go back to hidden and like i said you pretty much cannot die now from anya you can actually shop for a class specific weapon here for the assassin and that is you're looking for trap claws you want to find anything that has death sentry lightning sentry or skills to traps on it and here i got a good example of a GG one, I couldn't quite find it here shopping. I only spent a few minutes, but if you get one with like three to traps, if you're in nightmare or something like that, this is absolutely awesome to find. Now you can actually get three to Warcry javelins here from Mala. 
but also don't forget you can actually get some javelins that have a bunch of increased attack speed which would be something you would throw on a javazan until you find titans or keystrokes now just some 30 or 40 is javelins would be awesome for that super budget amazon and this is the fastest way i see to go to that waypoint and come back to shop again and like i said i'm looking for mainly the three to war cries or if you're a javazan looking for those increased attack speed javelins now, I ended up not being able to buy these either. I went in and out for like 10 minutes and could get one. But here is the example of exactly what you're looking for. Once again, it will not be purple in name. It will be normal blue. That's just a loot filter I have on. But those three to war cries on each one. So six to all your war cries. So that makes your battle order give you way more health. And it'll make your battle command last even longer. That boosts up the skill level of all your skills. And now next here, we're hopping into, in my opinion, what is probably the most important one, and that is where to shop a Telic Staff. I always recommend waiting till Act 2 Nightmare, because going over to Dragnon here is, in my opinion, the best to fastest way, and when you'll actually be able to get one. I got lucky. This was actually the first time I walked over to Dragnon. Boom. Make sure you get the one with teleport charges, not the teleport skill for Sorceress, because you need those teleport charges to use if you're not a Sorceress. And this is exactly why I always wait till Nightmare. I get a lot of crap from people who say buy one in Act 3 normal. Well, it's not often in Act 3 normal you have a quarter million gold. And I never do, I know that. I don't know how much you're playing in normal getting a quarter million gold. But usually maybe when you do help bail runs, you'll get a bunch of gold to be able to afford that. Now the, this is also the fastest way to shop one in my opinion too. Because you can run right out of town there and come back in. And as long as nobody is in town, the inventory on the vendors will reset. Now it's super simple, as you see, run out, you see those words, you go out, you come back in, you go out, you come back in. It is that easy to shop yourself a telly staff for Act 2 Nightmare. And I will go ahead and throw some examples here of why you need a telly staff and how you could use it. You could either teleport right up in front of this pack right here so your mercenary will take on and aggro them and then they'll attack him and you can step back and cast or you can teleport backwards to pull your mercenary to safety or if you're taking too long trying to get past walls or trying to jump over to where you see the exit at but you can't run to it or it'll take a while you just teleport over to it it is that simple well hopefully you learned something from this list of tricks and tips on what to buy where to buy and how to shop and buy stuff more efficiently if there's anything you think i forgot or that i missed Head down in the comments section and let me know. I definitely don't know everything in the entire world. Maybe there's something out there that I even forgot. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe up so you never miss a video. And also so you don't miss me streaming because, yeah, like I said, I stream right here on this YouTube channel. Peace out, YouTube. Hopefully I catch you in the next video. And don't forget, keep slaying.